morning everyone it is 5 a.m on friday november 6 we are going for the last part of Callie's um, school surgery which is to take the plates and the little distractor out of her head um we're looking forward to having a big break in surgeries after this there's not supposed to be a planned one until she's about two and a half but i'll have to show you the before and after because the space and just the difference in her head shape is just it's crazy it's amazing but we're just getting all packed up and we are making our way to seattle children's there's my baby hi love good morning it's a big day today you're gonna be so strong okay <laughs> All right, so you saw Callie. Next step is game packed up so we can get out of here. This is her to-go bag. It has some clothes and just her next size up trach, her splints, just all the things that she needs. We have her medicine in here and backup batteries for her equipment. And then we're taking buns this time and her car stroller got her suction machine some extra toys and her emergency bag but this is all the things that we need and obviously the milk yes baby has to be fed and the daddy daddy has to be there so we're about to load this up in the car so we can get out of here y'all it is cold and dark out here but we got the car loaded up it's time in your car seat boo boo None of this would be possible without our lovely night nurse, Jane. <laughs> she got all the bags ready. Hey, boo, she got Callie ready. So early in the morning. Were you good for Jane last night? Yeah? Yes, I was. Yeah. She slept the whole night. Oh, good job. Teamwork at its finest. Daddy's got her. Precious cargo. Yeah. Here we go, boo boo. We made it and she sleeps. She slept the whole car ride. Now it's time to unpack all of her goodies and get it in here. Daddy for the win. Best daddy in the world. all packed up she's all bundled we're out of the car and we're headed and we got to do a few checkpoints do our temperature make sure that we're good she just woke up we have all of the security So we just checked in, and this is usually the part that Rome takes over. So what happens is um, we check in, they give you this little device, um, and basically there's all these monitors all over the walls to where we can track what's going on in surgery. It'll give us the time that they're expected to be done, but the only issue, it's a, it's a droid, no shade, no shade. But, so we'll be, as soon as this goes off, we know that she's done, so we'll just call in. It's, it's almost like a, a 2020 pager. We'll call in mm -hmm. and they'll say she's going to be ready in an hour. Start heading back this way or the doctors want to speak with you. And then we'll connect directly to the doctors with this thing. So, yeah. And they'll also um, call us sometimes. But right now we're in like a little waiting area. They've got the plexiglass up. Uh oh all situated and we're just waiting for them to call us back for her. then we'll go through more consent paperwork we'll meet the surgeon anesthesia we'll get her ready we usually have to like wipe her down so she's all clean for surgery we gotta put wipe her, in her down with the anas an antiseptic wizard yeah basically it's almost like a, a glorified alcohol wipe but not really alcohol we wipe her down so she's completely bacteria free and clean and ready for surgery 
then we put her in the gown. Yeah, right. exactly. And then they'll roll her back and then we'll, we'll head our own way. So right now we're just waiting. So next, next you'll see us in the little back room before it's time for her to head back. But she's good. She's up now. Hi, Boo Boo. She was over the car seat. She needed some cuddles from Mommy Snuggles, huh? You need some Mommy Snuggles? Yeah. And then all the way down to the last room. Does this feel okay? Yeah. So we just wiped her down from below her neck to her feet with these wipes to get her ready for operation. We had to take her clothes off and put her in her little gown. Come in. Yeah. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Nice to meet you guys. Right. I'll take her. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're just going to go on a little adventure. All right, you just saw us drop Kalia off and the doctors took her. So now this is like the hard part because we wait. We are gonna not stay in the hospital and wait because we don't really want to be in the hospital. But we're gonna just hang out in the car and go get some food. But that's probably the hardest part is handing her off. This time we actually had to hand her off. Last time they kind of like rolled her out Oh, but that I feel like. What are your thoughts on that? Like you said, it's the it's the hardest part. She started crying the minute that we gave her over, so she knew something was happening. Mm -hmm. She knew that she was no longer gonna be with us, and she just looked at us and we held her hand and told her it was gonna be okay, and then she left. That's yeah. all we can do. Yeah, what we didn't show is like us meeting with the doctors, the consent forms. We can't show that stuff though. That's that's yeah. why we didn't show it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we showed as much as we could, and now we'll wait. So they said it's probably like ninety minutes of actual surgery time, but there's the prep time. She's really hard to find like a vein for it, to do to give the IV line for. It. So that's that usually takes longest, and then also the prep and then recovery time to get her back to her room. So we have our little phone and they'll send us a little alert and give us updates. So we probably should get one like 40 minutes or so saying, hey, she just got back into the room and we're starting surgery. Yeah, I feel like this is the hardest time. Hand her off and then just waiting. Yeah, that too. Yeah. All right, guys. Yes. All right, boo. They're ready for us. Time to pack up and go see her baby. All right, Kelly got her room assignment. This is the lovely map of the hospital. We are headed to go see our baby. We're so ready. Daddy got all her stuff. back home it is three o'clock it's been a long day callie's at the hospital healing up she's gonna be there overnight and 
we're gonna try to catch up on some sleep and just chill and then head to the hospital in the morning to pick her up she's gonna need some like pain medicine tonight and just try to monitor her and make sure she's good but the surgery went really well so I'm not too nervous about that but just having extra eyes on her is gonna be so key but oh we are tired it is saturday and we're excited because what are we doing we're gonna get kalia we're gonna get kalia we're gonna get kalia and what bring our baby home hey <laughs> we're so ready so it should be a lot shorter discharge than it was last time it's not our first rodeo it was a minor procedure compared to the last one so we got the green light and we're just so ready so the next shots you will see is us swooping her and bringing her back home. Ayy. <laughs> That is a wrap on surgery day. That was a quick one. We are home and it feels so good. We got daddy. <laughs> we got Callie. <laughs> you say hi? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good just to be all under one roof. She's doing well. She wants lots of cuddles. She's giving us smiles. We're tolerating her pain with some Tylenol. But we're gonna check out it's been, it's been a good, real. it's been real. <laughs> real. Subscribe below if you are liking these vlog style videos and leave us some comments on what you'd like to see next. I know it's always more Cali. More Cali. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> oh, we miss you so much. It's so, so good to have you home. I love you. I love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>